set difference is concerned on the moving of elements. Just like when you're going to talk about uh, 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 is definitely equals is equal to 3. Why is it the answer is a 3? Because you remove 2, 2 units from 5. What is left is 3. Okay. What if 5 minus 0? Since you cannot remove anything, the, rem the answer is 5. What if 5 minus 5? You remove everything, so the answer is 0 or none. Why I'm sharing this to you? Because set difference will go on these different concepts. But first, again, you need to remind everyone that in the previous uh, videos, we already uh, we were able to this uh, this uh, list the set Z in its roster form. Set Z contains the elements or the prime numbers less than ten, which are two, three, five, and then seven. So let's talk about number one X minus y okay x minus y meaning we are going to remove the elements of y that are found in x again just like when you say 5 minus 2 we are going to remove 2 from 5 we are going to remove the subtrahend from the minuend again minuend is the first number that comes first uh, the, the, the first number uh, that, uh, that is written when you're going to write a subtraction uh, operation. And the second number is your subtrahend. So again, we are going to remove the elements of Y found in X. Some of us have problems in uh, dealing with set difference. So my advice to you is first, do not remove muna. Write the elements of the first set. Set X, so one, two, three, and then four. These are the elements found in set X. This is not yet the answer. So we are writing the elements found in the first set. The next thing you need to do is to remove the elements that uh, remove the elements here that are also found in the second set, or set Y. And that's how set difference works. So we have set. Uh, we have elements one, two, three, four. Let's this this uh, examine uh, set Y. You have two, four, six, eight. So we are going to remove them one by one. Remove two. Remove four. Remove six. Since six is not here, so you have you are not going to you were not uh, you were not able to remove six, and then remove eight. At the same time, since 8 is not here, you cannot remove 8. Therefore, the correct answer are the elements that are left in the first set. So it should be the elements 1 and 3. Some of you might ask, where is 6 and where is 8? Because 6 and 8 were not removed. Take note, we are just concerned on the elements of the first set and then remove the elements found in the second set. Yes, 6 and y were uh, 6 and 8 were not removed, but first and foremost, they are not part of set X. Therefore, they cannot be retained in our final answer. Second problem is y minus x. Again. To, it means remove the elements found in set Z that are found in set Y. To answer this, same with uh, number one, write first the elements of set Y, which are 2, 4, 6, and then 8. And then we remove the elements found in set Z, which are 2, remove 2, 
3, 3 is not here, so we cannot remove 3. 5 and 7 are also not here, so we cannot remove them anymore. What remains, the elements 4, 6, and 8 are the elements for the difference of sets y and z. Again, 3, 5, 7 were not removed, but in the first place, they are not part of set y, so they are not to be written here. And finally, for set uh, for x minus z. So list first elements of x, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. And then remove the elements that can be found on set z, which are 2, 3, 5 is not there, 7 is not there, so no need to write 5 and 7. What remains are the elements 1 and 4. Okay. Let us now try to interchange the sets for number 3. What if we have z minus x? Do we have the same answer as number 3? Just like what happened to the union and intersection of sets, wherein if it disregards arrangements of sets, let's find out. So in this case, if it's z minus x, let's start with writing the elements of z, which are 2, 3, 5, and then 7. Simply remove the elements that are found in x, which are 1. No one here. Nothing can be removed. 2, let's remove 2. 3, let's remove 3. 4 is not here. And those are just the elements of set X. So what remains, the elements 5 and 7 are the elements of your correct answer. Please try to differentiate the two answers. The difference of X and Z, or X minus Z, contains elements 1 and 4. The difference of the elements z and x or z minus x contains the elements 5 and 7. Definitely they are not the same. So this is not the, the same, this is not similar to what will happen in union and intersection of sets. Wherein whether uh, we're in if you're going to rearrange the sets, the the answers will not be changed. For set difference, they are not different. This is just similar when you say 5 minus 2 and then 2 minus 5. The, uh, subtraction is different if you're going to interchange the uh, minuend and subtrahend, uh, to subtrahend and minuend respectively. 5 minus 2 is we know as a 3. 2 minus 5 is actually negative 3. They are exactly opposites, so they are not the same. So for set difference, whether uh, if you're going to uh, interchange the sets, we will have different answers because arrangement here matters. Another thing, if we are going to say, and uh, say based on the given again, let's go back to the given sets x, y, and z. And what if I have set A containing elements nine and ten? And then I will have number four here saying x minus a. Okay, difference of x minus a. I have here the set a containing 9 and 10. So we are going to write here the elements of x 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then remove the elements of that can be found in a. 9, since there is no 9, we cannot remove anything. 10. Deep, we can also remove 10 here because 10 is not part of set X. So what is our final answer? The final answer, if there's nothing to be removed, the final answer should be the set, the, rem, the set itself. Do not answer empty or null. This is similar to 5 minus 0 as raised earlier. 5 minus 0, since you, zero, you are subtracting nothing, you are removing nothing. What remains is 5 or the original given. 
So when you say x minus a, since nothing can be removed, it retains the elements of x. This is different if I will have here number 5. Okay. What if I have another set saying set B containing uh, 4, 6, uh, 4, 6, 8, and 2. And I will say number 5 is Y minus B. To answer this, again, we are going to write the elements of Y is equal to 2, 4, 6, and then 8. And then we move elements found in B. B has 4, so we remove 4. B has 6, remove 6. B has 8, remove 8. And finally, B has 2, remove 2. As you have noticed, we have removed all elements of Y. In short, our answer here is an empty set, or you could use the symbol for null set. Do not combine them. Huh? Okay, they are different symbols. So empty or null. Do not use, again, do not say this one because you do, uh, do not combine the two symbols. This will make your answer incorrect. Okay, this is incorrect, okay? So what happened to number 5 is similar to what will happen to 5 minus 5. 5 minus 5, you are removing all. So 5 minus 5 becomes 0, meaning nothing, no more. Similar to number 5, since Y and B contains the same elements, or if we talk about types of sets, they are equal sets. We have removed everything. So differentiate all of this and practice on your worksheets. Okay? This is the video for the set difference. It's a little bit tricky, but hopefully you try to analyze and understand more critically. And please do your worksheets. See you on our last video for module number three soon. Goodbye.